The John H. Daniels Faculty of Architecture, Landscape, and Design, home of the Master of Forest Conservation Program, is located on the downtown St. George campus at the University of Toronto, one of the three campuses throughout the Greater Toronto Area. Founded by Royal Charter in 1827 as King's College, the campus contains some of the most prestigious architecture and beautiful green space in Toronto, offering an extraordinary environment in which to learn and work. The campus contains advanced research centers and academic facilities, student residences, numerous cafeterias and dining halls, green and park spaces, and sporting and recreational facilities. Toronto is ranked as one of the most diverse cities in North America, and the St. George campus sits at the heart of it all, intrinsically linked with the city's renowned cultural offerings to create a rich and unique experience for everyone. Forestry at U of T was the first forestry school in Canada, created as a faculty in 1907. In 1989, forestry moved into the new Earth Sciences Building, a shared complex on the southwest corner of the campus, which also houses the School of the Environment and Departments of Earth Sciences, Geography, and Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. The interior is home to many laboratories, classrooms, and administrative offices, while the rooftop holds large greenhouses and research planting spaces. The Earth Sciences Building integrates two special forest courtyards, the Boreal Forest Courtyard and the Carolinian Forest Courtyard, that provide not only green space for students and faculty, but are the location of student projects and experiments. The hustle and bustle of downtown Toronto falls away as one walks through these serene forested areas. The interior of Earth Sciences is spacious and provides ample natural lighting throughout the corridors. Rising overhead in the central part of the forestry hub is a magnificent three-story hanging light installation resembling a tree, leaves, and stems. Built with thousands of pieces of cherry wood from forestry's original library walls, this sculpture inspires students to reflect on the importance of trees and forests in the aesthetics and practice of everyday life. Here on the second, third, and fourth floors reside the faculty and student offices. All students, including the professional MFC and research stream PhD and MSCF, are provided with their own desk space, sharing offices equipped with high-speed Wi-Fi with their peers. The forestry students also have their own lounge and kitchen space with refrigerator and cupboard space. Many informal student meetings and study sessions take place here along with weekly tea times with faculty, staff, and visiting researchers. Forestry has two meeting room spaces, both available for student use through open booking on the Forestry website. These meeting rooms are furnished with high-end presentation and projection equipment, perfect for practicing or presenting that thesis project. This first floor area also houses support staff and administration for forestry students and faculty. Down the hall from their offices, students can find their main classrooms and laboratory space. MFC classrooms in the Earth Sciences Center are airy and spacious with mobile desks that are easy to maneuver into lecture style for teaching or rearrangement for group and discussion work. Forestry also provides students with their own computer lab and printer access. Some coursework also takes place here with group projects and exercises. The work that goes on in our research laboratories covers a range of forestry subjects. From the Fire Management Systems Laboratory that studies the impact of fire in boreal forest ecosystems, to research on soil interactions and remediation, forest biology, ecology and silviculture for forest restoration and management, tree biology to quantify carbon flux and sequestration in boreal and urban forests, impacts of harvesting and forest operations on wildlife, climate change impacts and invasive species management, to wood physics and chemistry labs for biomaterial and mass timber applications. There is constant research carried out in our laboratories and workshops. Students have easy access to all our high-tech lab space for their own studies. The Institute for Forestry and Conservation, the Center for Biocomposites and Biomaterials Processing, and the Mass Timber Institute are all located in Earth Sciences, using state-of-the-art technologies to find solutions to our global sustainability challenges. Whether in conservation of forest lands, private and public stewardship, or bio-based commercial applications, 
Our faculty is the go-to research hub in advanced technologies and applications for governmental agencies, conservation NGOs, and private industrial researchers alike. Atop the Earth Sciences Centre lies forestry's designated greenhouse and growth space, providing a research platform for tree and plant material to meet the needs of current students, faculty, and researchers. The greenhouse complex covers over 120 square meters and students have access to special equipment such as a LICOR LI6400 leaf and whole plant gas exchange system, an ocean optics leaf and canopy optical analyzer, a muffle furnace, a pyrolysis system, and a perchloric acid fume hood and drying ovens. Future renovations will include a new wood drying environmental chamber to set international trade guidelines for illegal logging and invasive species restrictions. Our technical research staff is also available to assist with pots and growth supplies, temperature control and watering services, and to provide guidance in planning, teaching projects and experiments. A quick skip across the street is where the Daniels Building is located in respect to the Earth Sciences Center. With the 2019 merger of the Faculty of Forestry into the John H. Daniels Faculty of Architecture, Landscape and Design, forestry students and faculty now have access to a larger venue of interdisciplinary faculty, students and support staff. The Daniels Faculty moved into its new home at 1 Spadina Crescent in the spring of 2017. The Neo-Gothic Revival Building was originally constructed in 1874 as the Knox College Theological Seminary and over the next century and a half was used by the university in various means from a medical hospital during World War I to the Connaught Laboratory for Insulin Development and Teaching and a visual art space. The original Heritage Building has been renovated and integrated with a new work of contemporary architecture on the north end of the circle to create more than 160,000 square feet of available space for students and faculty. This revitalized building is now a model of sustainable construction showcasing leading sustainable design practices including rainwater harvesting, daylighting, bicycle parking, and a green roof built to incorporate solar photovoltaic technology as it evolves. Walking through the building, one immediately notices the fusion of old and modern interior design features including the original exposed brick and wooden church pews built into the original theology school. Up front, we have the administrative offices, including Dean Robert Wright's new location. The Office of the Registrar and Student Services on the first floor has dedicated administrative staff to facilitate students' academic experience at the university. It is a first stop for enrollment, academic, financial, personal, and general advising and the staff here, including a learning strategist, international advisor, career educator, and social worker, assist students experiencing any difficulties that might have an impact on academic work, such as illness, family emergency, or financial problems. The Commons on the ground floor provides a new east-west axis that connects the University's St. George campus to the east with the Harvard Village neighborhood to the west. Defined by a wall of undulating student lockers, it links to the library, student services office, the student union offices, our student-operated cafe, the main hall, the fabrication lab, and an exhibition gallery. The main hall in the Daniels Building is a flexible space that can hold over 400 people and is able to be configured in multiple layouts, allowing for ample seating and advanced multimedia presentations. This hall can be easily converted for student courses, public lectures, and large events and receptions. Classroom 200 is now home to the MFC Capstone presentations, which take place every December. This fresh, modern classroom is equipped with top-of-the-line lecture and filming equipment, which allows Forestry to record each individual presentation in a professional manner and post up on the Daniels YouTube site for public viewing.
Boardroom 300 and its new technology are available to students for thesis presentations and supervisor meetings. Every classroom in the Daniels Building was designed to offer a bright, porous space of creativity, learning, and engagement aimed at stimulating discussion. The huge open concept design studio holds an amphitheater for student learning and socializing. MFC students now have access to a complete IT team with a wide array of computing facilities offering photography and audiovisual resources, printers, plotters, photocopiers and scanners, LCD screens, and relevant software. In addition to Forestry's own wood workshop, the Daniels Faculty's construction workshop includes a full metal and wood shop, an assembly space, a spray booth, and a large selection of materials and tools. This workshop is connected to the Digital Fabrication Laboratory and High Bay Construction Area, which offers a variety of computer-controlled technologies, including a 7-axis robotic arm, large 3-axis and 4-axis routers, a rapid prototyping system, a water jet cutter, a color 3D printer, a 3D digitizer, a 3D laser scanner, several laser cutters, and a large format vacuum former. Finally, we climb up to the Green Roof Innovation Testing Laboratory for testing the environmental performance of green roofs, green walls, solar photovoltaic technologies, and stormwater retention and flood control. The current project, funded by an NSERC Create training grant, specifically involves the forestry and MFC PhD students that examine the effects of alternative growth substrates and vegetation types on green roof performance. This is the first large-scale field experiment examining the effects of biochar on green roof ecosystems. The forestry parts of the collaborative research program include measurements on albedo, greenhouse gas fluxes, and sensible and latent heat flux from green roof systems. The University of Toronto's library system, with 44 libraries across all three campuses, is the largest in Canada and consistently ranks among the top five academic research libraries in North America. It is the only Canadian member of the Biodiversity Heritage Library, a massive digitization project providing online access to biodiversity literature and archives from prestigious institutions all over the world. Located within the Earth Sciences Center, the Noranda Library specifically caters to forestry's needs, housing our publications and resources, and providing a quiet, roomy atmosphere perfect for any MFC studying needs. An appointed designated librarian for forestry students is available to assist in any research efforts. Occupying the former refectory inside the Daniels Building, the Eberhard Zeidler Library has a dedicated space for collections, larger study spaces, a beautifully lit reading room, and a section for the faculty's rare book collection. Forestry's campus for the MFC program extends well beyond the grounds of the university. Halliburton Forest and Wildlife Reserve Incorporated is our teaching and research forest and each fall, students travel to Halliburton to experience operations in a multi-use commercial forest. During the winter, our MFC students head to field camps in Mattawa, Ontario with the Canadian Institute of Forestry and Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry. Local forested sites are a main source of field experience and living laboratories for students in the city. Students are always immersed in hands-on learning, whether it is on the field trips to the city's unique Mount Pleasant Cemetery Arboretum for tree ID and dendrology exercises, or conducting inventory and planning exercises at one of many outdoor venues including Toronto's famous ravines or surrounding conservation areas and wooded parks. Forestry at U of T extends its global reach and student experience by allowing MFCs to attend either the Urban Field Camp in the Greater Toronto Area, Ottawa and Montreal, or the International Field Camp, where students travel to forest conservation hotspots such as Ecuador, Brazil, Malaysia, Ghana and Serbia. Thank you for joining in on this, our first virtual tour of Forestry's amalgamated resources at U of T. 
We are excited by the new venture we have embarked on for our flagship MFC program and wish you could be here in person to truly experience the exceptional nature of our campus, facilities, and people.